Hi user, welcome to my channel Learning with Khatak. Uh, so, in the last lectures, uh, we just covered the basic concepts of uh, uh, exception handling uh, by introducing uh, try gate block. In the last lecture, we just uh, looked at the uh, working mechanism of how uh, try block can be written, uh, how an exceptions will be thrown, and uh, how this thrown exception will be handled inside the cage block. So now this time uh, we want to execute, we want to uh, execute a program, we want to write a program to handle a very famous examples uh, uh, by uh, using try cage block that is division by zero exception handling. So for this case I am just uh, going to write three variables that is variable 1, variable uh, 2. What does it mean by variable 1, variable 2 and variable 3? So if uh, uh, you remember uh, that if you want to divide the two numbers uh, a and B and then each result want to place in variable 3. So here variable 3 is the result uh, variable 1 and variable 2 are the two numbers variable 1 will be divided by over the variable 2. So enter the dividend 1 is dividend variable 1 is dividend and variable 2 is uh, the divisors. So again we will start from the uh, try cage block. So if you look at this. Uh, uh, try block I just here uh, start a try block and then if statement will be there if variable 2 keep in mind variable 2 is the divisor so if variable is not e variable 2 is not equal to 0 checking if div uh, divisor is 0 then if this condition is true then uh, perform variable 1 divided by variable 2 and place the result inside the variable 3 so there is no problem in this case if this condition is true means the uh, variable 2 is not equal to 0 but what will happen if variable 2 the divisor becomes 0 so in this case we will place a else statement uh, if else statement and then inside the else statement we will throw an exception so else so obviously if variable uh, the divisor uh, is uh, not equal to 0 if this condition become false it means that divisor is equal to 0 so then throw variable 2 so uh, then in this case we will throw an exceptions uh, of variable to throwing the exception found because uh, there is an exception found that the divisor is zero. So then how to catch, how to handle this exception? Obviously that will be handled inside the cage statement cage and exe. So means the variable two will be placed inside this. Uh, this is just uh, uh, to hold uh, the exceptions. Uh, thrown from the try block and then see out division by 0 is not possible please try again uh, with the different value of variables so if I run this program if you look at this uh, very simply sim uh, enter the dividend uh, let I enter 8 and then enter the divisor uh, let uh, me enter the divisor uh, 2 so outcome is equal to 4 so obviously uh, the divisor in this case is not equal to 0 if the divisor is not equal to 0 in this case what will happen so if uh, I mention here so if divisor is not equal to 0 condition is true then simply uh, variable 3 is equal to that and that will be displayed because this condition is true else portion will be bypassed and if else portion is bypassed there will be no thrown of exception so there will there is no need to execute the cache block even the handler of the exceptions so but if we change uh, the divisor value so let me enter here this case 9 and then uh, 0 this time if you look at this divisor is equal to 0 so what will happen division by 0 is not possible please try again with different value of variables so now my program is normally executed which gave me an, a normal error a normal error or exceptions uh, by did not causing any abnormalities so let me show you one thing if i did not mention uh, i'm going to comment all these try cache block here to show me the importance of this thing so I just here uh, let me copy it here so this is the uh, yes variable 3 is equal to variable 1 uh, or variable 2 see see out outcome that's so if I run this code there is no problem 
let me check it 9 uh, the divide and, and the divisor is 3 so outcome is 3 but what will happen if I enter this time the divisor is equal to 0 so look at this now they, uh, look at this I am going to enter button but uh, did not uh, uh, happen anything so I have to abnormally shut down my program does not going to uh, uh, shut down so here even uh, unhandle exceptions and 0 0 in uh, that program initiated integer division by 0 so if uh, you look at here break and if I uh, look at this uh, so uh, error list uh, and then break points and then call uh, frames below so means my program did not execute normally uh, and it causes an abnormal error uh, by showing that uh, you can't do division by zero because division by zero when divisor becomes zero it uh, uh, gave me an answer in infinite so the answer will be infinity so to handle the infinity we must use the try catch block statement so even if i want to execute this uh, this time again there is a problem even in the execution statement enter the uh, dividend uh, again 4 and 2 so if devices is the number value other than 0 there is no problem but as long as i enter uh, 4 and 0 the program becomes halt and there is a message displayed uh, that break continue unhandle exception at integer division by 0 so so this is basically uh, we can handle the situation uh, using the uh, exception handle even I can't close my program so in the next uh, part uh, we will uh, show uh, another very important examples of exception handling that how to uh, throw an exception and how to handle this exception thank you very much for being with us